Chapter 12 These are the statutes and the ordinances which you shall observe to do in the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, has given you to possess, all the days that you live on the earth. You shall surely destroy all the places in which the nations that you shall dispossess serve their gods, on the high mountains, and on the hills, and under every green tree. And you shall break down their altars, and dash in pieces their pillars, and burn their ashram with fire. And you shall cut down the engraved images of their gods, and you shall destroy their name out of that place. You shall not do so to the Lord your God, but to the place which the Lord your God shall choose out of all your tribes to put his name there, even to his habitation shall you seek, and there you shall come, and there you shall bring your burnt offerings, and your sacrifices, and your tithes, and the heave offering of your hand, and your vows, and your free will offerings, and the firstborn of your herd and of your flock. And there you shall eat before the Lord your God, and you shall rejoice in all that you put your hand to, you and your households, in which the Lord your God has blessed you. You shall not do after the things that we do here this day, every man whatever is right in his own eyes, for you haven't yet come to the rest and to the inheritance which the Lord your God gives you. But when you go over the Jordan, and dwell in the land which the Lord your God causes you to inherit, and he gives you rest from all your enemies round about, so that you dwell in safety, then it shall happen that to the place which the Lord your God shall choose to cause his name to dwell there, there shall you bring all that I command you, your burnt offerings and your sacrifices, your tithes and the heave offerings of your hand, and all your choice vows which you vow to the Lord. You shall rejoice before the Lord your God, you and your sons and your daughters, and your men servants and your maid servants, and the Levite who is within your gates, because he has no portion nor inheritance with you. Take heed to yourself that you don't offer your burnt offerings in every place that you see, but in the place which the Lord shall choose in one of your tribes, there you shall offer your burnt offerings, and there you shall do all that I command you. Notwithstanding, you may kill and eat flesh within all your gates, after all the desire of your soul, according to the blessing of the Lord your God, which he has given you. The unclean and the clean may eat of it, as of the gazelle, and as of the heart. Only you shall not eat the blood, you shall pour it out on the earth as water. You may not eat within your gates the tithe of your grain, or of your new wine, or of your oil, or the firstborn of your herd, or of your flock, nor any of your vows which you vow, nor your freewill offerings, nor the heave offering of your hand. But you shall eat them before the Lord your God, in the place which the Lord your God shall choose, you and your son and your daughter, and your manservant and your maidservant, and the Levite who is within your gates. And you shall rejoice before the Lord your God in all that you put your hand to. Take heed to yourself that you don't forsake the Levite as long as you live in your land. When the Lord your God shall enlarge your border, as he has promised you, and you shall say, I will eat flesh, because your soul desires to eat flesh, you may eat flesh after all the desire of your soul. If the place which the Lord your God shall choose to put his name there be too far from you, then you shall kill of your herd and of your flock, which the Lord has given you, as I have commanded you, and you may eat within your gates, after all the desire of your soul. Even as the gazelle and as the heart is eaten, so shall you eat it. The clean and the unclean may eat of it alike. Only be sure that you don't eat the blood, for the blood is the life, and you shall not eat the life with the flesh. You shall not eat it, you shall pour it out on the earth as water. You shall not eat it that it may go well with you, and with your children after you, when you shall do that which is right in the eyes of the Lord. Only your holy things which you have, and your vows you shall take, and go to the place which the Lord shall choose. And you shall offer your burnt offerings, the flesh and the blood, on the altar of the Lord your God. And the blood of your sacrifices shall be poured out on the altar of the Lord your God, and you shall eat the flesh. Observe and hear all these words which I command you, that it may go well with you, and with your children after you forever, when you do that which is good and right in the eyes of the Lord your God. When the Lord your God shall cut off the nations from before you, 
where you go in to dispossess them, and you dispossess them and dwell in their land. Take heed to yourself that you not be ensnared to follow them, after that they are destroyed from before you, and that you not inquire after their gods, saying, How do these nations serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. You shall not do so to the Lord your God, for every abomination to the Lord which he hates have they done to their gods. For even their sons and their daughters do they burn in the fire to their gods. Whatever thing I command you, that shall you observe to do. You shall not add thereto, nor diminish from it. Psalm 97 Yahweh reigns, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are around him, righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. A fire goes before him and burns up his adversaries on every side. His lightning lights up the world, the earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of Yahweh, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, all the peoples have seen his glory. Let all them be put to shame who have served engraved images, who boast in their idols. Worship him, all you gods. Zion heard and was glad, the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of your judgments, Yahweh. For you, Yahweh, are most high above all the earth, you are exalted far above all gods. You who love Yahweh hate evil, he preserves the soul of his saints. He delivers them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Be glad in Yahweh, you righteous people. Give thanks to his holy name. Psalm 98, a psalm. Sing to Yahweh a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. Yahweh has made known his salvation. He has openly shown his righteousness in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his loving kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise to Yahweh, all the earth. Burst out and sing for joy, yes, sing praises. Sing praises to Yahweh with the harp, with the harp and the voice of melody, with trumpets and sound of the ram's horn. Make a joyful noise before the King, Yahweh. Let the sea roar with its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing for joy together. Let them sing before Yahweh, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. Chapter 40 Comfort you, comfort you, my people, says your God. Speak comfortably to Jerusalem and cry to her, that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, that she has received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of one who cries, Prepare you in the wilderness the way of the Lord. Make level in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the uneven shall be made level, and the rough places a plain, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. The voice of one saying, Cry! One said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the glory of it is as the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades, because the breath of the Lord blows on it. Surely the people is grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God shall stand forever. You who tell good news to Zion, go up on a high mountain. 
you who tell good news to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with strength. Lift up, don't be afraid, and say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold, the Lord God will come as a mighty one, and his arm will rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arm, and carry them in his bosom, and will gently lead those who have their young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and meted out the sky with the span, and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord, or being his counselor has taught him? With whom took he counsel, and who instructed him, and taught him in the path of justice, and taught him knowledge, and shown to him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are accounted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he takes up the isles as a very little thing. Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the animals of it sufficient for a burnt offering. All the nations are as nothing before him. They are accounted by him as less than nothing and vanity. To whom, then, will you liken God? Or what likeness will you compare to him? The image, a workman has cast it, and the goldsmith overlays it with gold and casts for it silver chains. He who is too impoverished for such an offering chooses a tree that will not rot. He seeks to him a skillful workman to set up an engraved image that shall not be moved. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants of it are as grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens as a curtain, and spreads them out as a tent to dwell in, who brings princes to nothing, who makes the judges of the earth as vanity. Yes, they have not been planted, yes, they have not been sown, yes, their stock has not taken root in the earth. Moreover, he blows on them and they wither, and the whirlwind takes them away as stubble. To whom, then, will you liken me, that I should be equal to him, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high, and see who has created these, who brings out their host by number, he calls them all by name. By the greatness of his might, and because he is strong in power, not one is lacking. Why say you, Jacob, and speak, Israel? My way is hid from the Lord, and the justice due me is passed away from my God. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the Creator of the ends of the earth, doesn't faint, neither is weary. There is no searching of His understanding. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might He increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Then I saw a mighty angel coming down out of the sky, clothed with a cloud. A rainbow was on his head. His face was like the sun and his feet like pillars of fire. He had in his hand a little book open. He set his right foot on the sea and his left on the land. He cried with a loud voice as a lion roars. When he cried, the seven thunders uttered their voices. When the seven thunders sounded, I was about to write, but I heard a voice from the sky saying, Seal up the things which the seven thunders said, and don't write them. The angel, who I saw standing on the sea and on the land, lifted up his right hand to the sky, and swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that are in it, the earth and the things that are in it, and the sea and the things that are in it, that there will no longer be delay. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he is about to sound, then the mystery of God is finished, as he declared to his servants the prophets. The voice which I heard from heaven, again speaking with me, said, Go, 
Take the book which is open in the hand of the angel who stands on the sea and on the land. I went to the angel, telling him to give me the little book. He said to me, Take it and eat it up. It will make your belly bitter, but in your mouth it will be as sweet as honey. I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. It was as sweet as honey in my mouth. When I had eaten it, my belly was made bitter. They told me, You must prophesy again over many peoples, nations, languages, and kings.